Hello everyone! Today we're going to review part one of a two-part series on remediating Word documents. I know accessibility can appear daunting, but really it's much simpler than you think. And it allows your work to be available to all readers. So let's begin with a scenario. You've just been sent this document on voting for people with disabilities and have been asked to ensure its accessibility. At first glance, it seems fine to you, but you don't know what to check. No worries, here's what to do first. If you're using Microsoft Word version 2007, 2010, or 2013, your software will include a built-in accessibility checker. To access it, select File, Info, check for issues, check accessibility. Now you see, the pane on the right has revealed a few issues. Throughout this series, we'll address issues both recognized by the checker and some that are not. It's important to remember that as with any automated tool, there is a possibility of false positives, so we'll use this simply as a guide. Let's focus on alternative text and hyperlink text. As you can see, this document has two images. Screen readers can tell that the figure is an image, but they can't read what it's a picture of, so we have to fill in that information. Right-click the image and select Format Picture. Now select the third symbol at the top of the pane. Now select Alt Text. Fill in the description field with an appropriate wording. I'll put Voting Pin. Leave the title field blank. Now we'll do the same for the second photo. Similar to alternative text, hyperlinks also need a text equivalent. This is called a screen tip. Without this remediation, a screen reader will simply read all the characters of the link, and that can get a bit annoying depending on its length. Right-click the link, then select Edit Hyperlink, then Screen Tip. Fill in an appropriate description into the field. We'll do this for all three hyperlinks in this document. Lastly, let's move on to tables. It's important to first note whether your table was made using the table tool or as an image. Creating the table with the appropriate tools allows a screen reader to identify it as one, providing structure to the reader. Fortunately, this table was made using the tool, however our accessibility checker states that we don't have a header row specified. That means a screen reader cannot identify what the main categories of the table are. To create the header row, select the top row of the table. And at the top of the toolbar, you'll notice the table tools are highlighted. Select Layout. Then choose Repeat Header Rows. And that's it for part one of this series. Stay tuned for more on Word document remediation.